Hey everybody, it's Pendragon, and today's video is brought to you by W Energy. So I'm going to keep things short and sweet. W Energy is a clean energy drink that has no sugar, no calories, and comes in a variety of delicious flavors, including Galaxy Grenade and Dragonade. Not only does it give you no jitters and no crash, but it's chock full of vitamins and amino acids, which are great for you. Use promo code Pendragon for 10% off of your order and give it a shot today. And now, on to the video. Hey everybody, it's Pendragon, and welcome back to more Spiral the Dragon. So last time I spotted a dragon, we were not in this area. So we are actually in the Alpine Ridge. Now, I was going through the Magic Crafters area trying to find the last of the gems. I ended up um, going through the chest that we saw before that needed a key, but didn't need a key because we actually just had a supercharge to it, which I believe we did in Wizard Peak. Um, I couldn't find the last 10 gems, so I decided to go to Alpine Ridge. So it looks like I already saved everybody. There was a bandit and everything, but... I'm going to take you guys through the level again just because, obviously, it did not make it to the recording and I just got mucked off by that guy really easily. Um, basically what happened, the game crashed on me mid-recording and when you're doing it through the PlayStation, the game decides to say, hey, you can't record, you know, the start screen and such. So don't do that, we're going to just stop the recording instead of pausing it. So yeah, that happened. So we have most of the gems already, but they, they introduced these new guys to us, which are like the wizards that ride the, or not wizards, I guess they're like soldiers almost. These are the wizards that keep changing things on you. But introduce those big, <clears throat> if I don't lose my voice, those big creatures that they're riding on. I don't know what their names are off the top of my head, but I do know that they're really annoying just because they squash you easily. You know, each of the dragons were on one of these spots kind of thing. You can just glide across to here, and then try to avoid those guys. You gotta get them to fire. Um, those guys are running around, give you a spare life, which is cool. Then, of course, you gotta make your way through here, which is not too shabby. So, I'm gonna go all the way around, just to show you guys what's going on here. So, the wizards are constantly changing the levels. Here's where another dragon was. So that's kind of the gimmick of this one. So let's go ahead and get this guy, if I can get him. And go around to get this guy. Perfect. And then down here is like the pit for these guys, which is which is good because they actually give you gems as well. So you're going to want to come down there and do that. Also sorry if I sound like I'm like speedrunning this little part, it's just I literally just did this. And I went to you know resume the recording because I was like, oh yeah, it's probably going to keep it. And luckily I checked, so I was just like, oh, well that happened. Um, I know it's better if I use my capture card and such, but I've just gotten in such a habit of using this um, PlayStation capture for these games that I don't want to change the quality just yet, especially in the middle of a Let's Play. Like, I know I changed the quality of my microphone, but that's something that's kind of important. So, hopefully you guys understand. If not, you know, sorry about that, but it happens. So up here, there is another dragon, obviously, and then you can glide back here to get to this little island. So this island had, I think, some chests and some gems and all that fun stuff. Oh, wait, no, that was actually back at the start. I'm thinking of a different spot, which I will show you guys shortly. So let me go ahead and run through this part. Um, yeah, we had to glide across here. I remember that. And there was another spot. Actually, I might have had to glide over there, because I can glide from there, I think. But pretty much there's a spot that has like fireworks, like on top of these different um, buildings, which I think might be around this corner. No. Yes, okay, yes it is. So there's crates of fireworks there, so when you get across over that way, you have to actually glide across and you have to light them and then jump to the next one, light, light and go to the next one because otherwise you'll get blown off the edge, which I learned during the episode. Um, Dragon Spot again, just to show you guys that. And I think the egg was actually up near the end, because I remember I got there because I had the glide. And I was a little confused as to why there was no bandit. So you can go down here as well. There are two different paths. One leads to nothing, and the other leads to, you guessed it, nothing. So, there actually were chests in there, from what I recall. So let's go ahead and make our way up here, to the tippity-top again. 
because we're looking for a spot to glide. So I know here is a good spot. We can actually glide all the way across to there from here, just about. And of course, you know, I decided to risk it, so I messed that up. Whoops. That was a waste of a life, but that's okay. Wait for it to blow back in. There we go. Um, so just go ahead and glide across to... Oh yeah, from here. It actually is from there. From where the little uh, area was. And there's the bandit. So the bandit had the egg. You could just catch him by running along. Um, there's actually a path here that's really easy to fall off of, especially when you're charging. Which you're going to need to do to catch up to this guy. And then of course, um, I actually had to cut the video, I remember, when I was doing this part because I was having a little bit of trouble catching up to him on that path without falling off. So, I've gotten a little better with it as you can see. Hopefully I don't get the Let's Play curse where I'll just fall off at the next opportune moment. Because that's normally what's been happening to me in these games. And I can almost get him with the fire. It's just really hard to stay on the inside when it's curvy paths. But of course you can just try to run straight lines through it. And trying to get to this guy. It's gonna be a pain. Like I already got him, but I really want to show you guys so I can get him. So you guys don't think it was just a fluke or something. So come on. Get a little closer, you blue bandits. Stop running. Oh, and also one of the dragons said they were afraid of creatures. They didn't say the names, but it said they were afraid of creatures. And I was just like, seriously, the dragons are afraid of those big um, monsters, but then I was like, well. I guess they could slam them, but Spyro is also pretty small for a dragon. And now I'm going off on a tangent while I'm struggling to catch up with this bandit. Come on. I was pressing fire, but I think I was holding down charge at the very last seconds. Come on. Apparently he can't breathe fire directly out of the charge, which makes sense. I'm trying to catch up to this guy. It's going to take a little while. Come on. Don't make me look dumb in front of everybody. So you already are probably. Come on. Sometimes I just can't get the right angle. Or I'll let go of the joystick while I'm turning sometimes. And there we go. That was actually an easy way to get him. Just jump. So now you can actually glide across to this. So you like that. Go across. Glide it. Go across. Glide it. And you gotta come back. So pops at the tops is a trophy you get for doing that. And you don't want to fall off like I did, but there's a way to pretty much, like, I could have gone back to the island before, I guess. So I could light them and then wait a little bit. So I'm actually going to do that. So let's go across. Lights. Go across. Okay. Go back over, just to make sure there's no gems or anything. There is. We've got it. And this one. Probably going to have a red gem. Oh, I see there's like a yellow gem on this one. Or not a red gem, a blue gem over here. There we go. And then I saw the yellow one, so now we got that. And we are 100% done with this level. That was an 8 minute speed run because you guys didn't get to see all the dragon cutscenes. But that's okay. Let's go ahead and make our way back to the start then. Well, the end of the level that sends us back to home, which is start, I guess. You know, if I don't keep falling into the water. But I will meet you guys back at the Magic Crafters world. Well, I gotta show you guys where the exit is actually. <laughs> so let me go ahead and do that real quick. So, run along here. And through the building again. Make our way back across. Glide on over. There's another spot we can glide to. There it is. And it's right up on top over here. If I can make my way up there a little faster, that would have been great. Um, also, there was a wizard messing with this. And as you can see, it just kind of pops up with magic. Even when there is no wizard spawn, because otherwise it would just be all on the ground. And here's the return home pad. So, I will see you guys back at the Magic Crafters world. Alright, and here we are back at the Magic Crafters world. So Alpine Ridge is done and over with, so let's go through these guys real quick. And I don't really want to cheat you guys out of an episode, so I'm not going to do the flight one just yet, because that one's going to be a lot of, you know, skipping ahead and then finally showing when I complete it, just like, you know, the usual stuff. So I'm going to go through this way here, which might actually just lead me right back to the start now that I think about it. 
Um, nope, nothing cool here. But I hear something. I hear the bandit somewhere. So I don't want to try and find it too badly. Because we already got the egg and such. Uh, so let's take out that guy, I guess. Um, we were just at Alpine Ridge. And we did the Wizard Peak. So there's one bandit. There should be like an ice cavern or something. Whatever it was called. If I can actually find it, that'd be great. Don't know why I'm struggling so much right now. Uh, so let's go up here. Oh, there's high caves. That's actually one we haven't done yet. So let's go into the caves. And if this episode ends up running a little long, like 30 minutes or so, with what I consider like a longer episode, I apologize for that, but I did want to, you know, get through that level that somehow got missed in recording so that way I could show you guys a full level. So hopefully this one actually goes well, you know, knock on wood and everything. And this is a long loading screen, so I'll see you guys. Never mind. <laughs> We're already back right here. I was about to say I'll see you guys in a little bit, but apparently my talking was enough for the load. So here we are at the High Caves, which has 500 gems, 3 dragons, and 2 eggs. So it's kind of like you guys never missed it. So it looks like we're going to be dealing with these Ice Wizards, which are going to suck, but at least they drop gems. And it looks like those regular wizards, kind of like, there are some that troll around and do like little tornadoes and such. That's interesting. Um, let me just make sure I'm not missing a lot of gems. Apparently I am because there were some behind me. So let me turn around then and grab these. Looks like that was a giant ant or something. Um, can't tackle you. Apparently I got light you on fire. Uh, maybe I can't fight you. Maybe I'm supposed to jump on them? I actually have no idea on that one because it looks like fire wasn't doing much. So maybe I got like supercharge or something. Let's check. I'm gonna try to go past them. Maybe I just gotta ignore them. Or, it comes over this way. Come and get it. If I get him on his behind, that's normally a weak spot for a lot of enemies. No, apparently he can't do anything to this guy. Okay. So maybe we'll like unlock something, because I remember hearing one of the dragons say something about that. Actually, it looked like the fire did make that guy actually go down for a bit. Well, that's a fun time. I'm just going to go to the route that the game actually positioned me towards, so I'm going to actually go forward in this so we can actually get some gems and everything. And try to ignore these little twister guys. Take them down, there we go. And over this way. Yeah, of course, looks like you could probably... Oh yeah, you can definitely glide through here somehow. Never mind. Might be above us. That sucked. Alright then, um, let's just go ahead and just make our way right back to where we were then. So I'm gonna actually skip that Twister guy, because he's actually not that important, and apparently we keep getting spun around here. Come on, Spyro. There we go. Or, you know, let's get hit by the next Twister, that works too. Um, try and take out enemies when I see them, but sometimes they can attack you around corners like that. And, okay, good, there's a dragon here. And some of these little sheep. So I'm going to take down the sheep, there we go, and rescue the dragon. So rescued Cyrus. Please do something about these green druids. They insist on moving everything in sight. Oh, apparently those guys are called green druids. Which I guess makes sense, they're kind of controlling the weather, which is part of nature and all that fun stuff. Um, so let's go ahead and I guess glide across this way. I'm trying to see if there's anything down there that I'm missing. Uh, nope, this looks like they're having a little nice magic duel, I guess. So let's go across here, grab that gem, get these ones here. If I can actually get them, there we go. And then this is like a blue one, perfect. So we're at 75, not too shabby. I'm just kind of checking the little nooks and crannies. Looks like we missed something from that. 
Okay, that's actually useful because we have zero lives. So we actually have to be very careful not to get hit by a lot of things. Because that would be a bad time. So maybe we have to glide from up here to there to there. No. No, 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 no. no. We just have to glide at the right moments. I think that's what I'm missing here. Alright, I really don't want to go for it, just because I don't want to lose that last life and get a game over. So, I'm actually going to go over here and start fighting these guys, or get knocked off the map. Okay, then I will see you guys shortly. Okay, and we're back from that. So, it actually sends you right back to the Magic Crafters world, which is the fun part. So, now we have to go all the way back to where we began. Actually, no, this might send me back to the very start of the... Oh no, it didn't. Okay, I was going to say it might send me back to the start of Alpine, but I don't think it did. No, it, it definitely did, because now there are all these... Nope, never mind. It sent me to the start of the Magic Crafters world. Okay, good. Perfect. I thought it sent me to the start of Alpine. I was like, wow, we just went completely backwards, apparently. But no, so let's go into the high caves and try to get back to getting some of these gems. Um, looking at the time right now, I'll probably try to get like at least another couple of dragons. But we might not have enough time for the whole level. Which I'm certain you guys are okay with. It'll just give you more content to look forward to throughout the week. And here we are back at the high caves. So that didn't take too long. Well, the load actually did take a little bit of time, but it wasn't terrible, I guess. Um, let's try to avoid those spider guys still, because they hurt. And I saw, okay, there is a blue gem there. Gotta go across there. I can hear them skittering behind me. Ugh, I hate that. Especially because I play this with headphones while I'm recording. So that like really bugs my ears. There we go. Uh, try to escape that guy. Apparently if you actually um, you get them with your fire, that does stun them. Like I said before. Oh, I thought I saw a green gem somewhere. Nope. Alright, well we can rescue this dragon at least. So rescued Ajax. I hate those bugs. When I become big and strong like you, I'll squash them all. Until then, remember that supercharge makes you invincible. Okay, so he is telling us that we actually do have to supercharge them, apparently. So, luckily for us, there is a ramp over here, right next to these, you know, yellow gem chests, which is awesome. But I'm gonna check up here first, because I saw a building that interested me. It's fireworks. That could have been bad, because I got too close, because I thought it was like one of those chests you had to shoot with fire to get it to uh, send the gem upwards. But there we go. Plenty of gems from those. And nothing up there, so let's go ahead and make our way up this ramp then. So around here. There it is. So there's probably going to be gems. No, there are not. This is just telling you that you can actually apparently go through, you can supercharge, and now you can almost take out the bugs if you actually can hit them. So let's go back up here. Supercharge, get the right angle. There we go. Okay, they do have gems, so I do actually have to go through and take them all out. So, with that being said, based on the time of the videos, this is about like 20 minutes of recording time or so. You know, the PlayStation likes to only do an hour. I'm gonna go ahead and actually end things here. So, next time on Spot of the Dragon. We're going to be supercharging away into some bugs as we fall off the ledge here. And we got rescued by fairies. That's actually pretty cool. Maybe when the supercharge makes you invincible when you go off an edge like that, it just saves you. Well, anywho, it interrupted my outro. So next time on Spiral the Dragon, we'll go ahead and supercharge into those bugs. And take them out, get the gems, get the eggs, and get the dragons. So this has been Pendragon, and I'll see you guys next time.